Well, hi everybody, one more time. Jeff with Tracy talking about the way we relate to God. And we have talked about a number of things and today we're gonna to talk about a word that sometimes gets thrown around out there, glorifying God. Mm -hmm. um, and that's a, a hard word to get a handle on sometimes. What exactly does that mean? It means a lot of what we've already talked about, kind of all rolled into one for mm -hmm. one thing. But it means to, to make things big, to, to take something that is uh, maybe to a lot of people looks average and say, wait, wait, you're not realizing all that's wrapped up in here, right? right? Sometimes we do that when we talk about golf. So a lot of people look at us and say, what's the big deal about golf? <laughs> But you've been someone for whom golf has been a big deal all your life. Yes. And so if you want to share with someone, why golf? You know, what is, why, why has it been golf for you? Um, I know there are times <laughs> when you've said, don't touch this game with a 10-foot pole. Yeah, I mean, a lot of times now I say I have a love-hate relationship yeah. with this game, which is, made, that's big, right? But, um, you know, there's something about golf that uh, it parallels life so much. Like, it, your true essence will come out on the golf course. Yeah. And not always good, um, but I think there's 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 things about golf that you can be in relationship with people. It's a game that you can do for longevity. Uh, it's extremely hard. You'll never figure it out. So you there'll, there'll always be something to be working on. Um, I think there's life lessons, you know, you can learn on the golf course. And, and it's one game that, you know, you can play by yourself, you can play with people. I mean, it's limitless, really. Right. We're in, a, in an election year. And in an election year, we're, the parties are trying to glorify their candidates, present them as bigger than they probably are. And that's the mistake we make a lot of times when we talk about what the things that we love we oversell them right because yeah. and in that overselling we're not being truthful we can't do that with god we can't oversell god mm -hmm. we can say everything that we say about his wonder is true yeah and it makes me think about in our meetings this week one of our board members said people can't argue with our experience with god right and so what is it about our experience that we can articulate to other people that that uh, build this picture of who God is his you know the word of, for me this year is has said this word that can't even be translated into an English word but the loving kindness the grace mercy uh, steadfast love of God that is I'm trying to get my hands around that yeah and the whole package of the God's package. love for us yeah yeah is in, in, in there and so now I turn around and I the scripture tells me I can't fathom all that God is and yet evangelism that act of sharing our faith with others is really an act of glorification hmm. it's saying I have to tell you what Jesus has done for me and hmm. how amazing that's been because he can do what no one else can do right yeah so when, when you turn around and you say to, to someone who kind of, I don't know about Jesus, if you, Tracy, had a top two or three things where you said, this is who God is for me, I can't, I can't even tell you how great this is, what are a couple of those things? Yeah, I think one of the first things is that this um, internal peace, regardless mm. of circumstances, and, and which is attached to joy, not happiness. Yeah, sure. And... Um, so this, uh, this knowing, this internal knowing of that um, I have uh, this, this father that loves me more than anything, more than anybody on earth would ever or can. Mm -hmm. And um, so that's one. And, and it, it, it's hard to explain that, but it's a, it's a visceral feeling sometimes. Yeah. And um, just to know that I've been forgiven I'm going to fail again. I'm going to sin. I'm going to, I'm a broken person. And yet this, this forgiveness that washes over me, I wake up new every day in this forgiveness. Um, it, I don't even know how to comprehend it sometimes, but I can latch on to that. Yeah. I think for me, it's that God, there's no point in my life, no corner, no detail that God can't touch and deal with. And he may be taking care of this right now in my life, but I know that whatever happens and whatever need I might have, 
He is fully capable of touching those things and dealing with them. And I've seen it through some really hard times. Mm -hmm. And I've seen it in some good times. And he is always, always there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we thank you that you have been here with us over the last many weeks through this series and that you've had an opportunity, I hope, to think about your relationship with God and maybe some ways that you can further and deepen that relationship as you go forward in your walk of faith with Him. Thanks, Tracy, for being with me. You're welcome. It's good to be with you. Yeah, and thank you all, too.